According to the National Institute for Communicable Diseases, there has been an exponential increase in infections over the last two weeks, with a weekly average of about 300 new cases per day, climbing to 1,000 last week and 3,500 most recently. On Wednesday, South Africa recorded 8,561 cases. A week earlier, the daily figure was 1,275. We thought, well, what will outcompete Delta? I think that's always been the question. What will outcompete Delta in terms of transmissibility, at least? 74 percent of all viral genomes sequenced last month were of the new variant, which was identified in a sample collected on November 8 in Gauteng, South Africa's most populous province. Experts are working against the clock to determine the level of the protection offered by existing immunizations. Um, in fact, and some of those admissions might have started before we think the emergence of um, Omicron, and we also seen that there was an influenza, increase in influenza cases in South Africa just in the last um, month or so. Um, and so we need to really be careful to, to look at the other respiratory infections and other respiratory diseases. Early epidemiological evidence revealed that Omicron was able to evade some protection, but modern immunization should still protect against severe illness and death. Limits were lifted earlier this month in the country, which has fully inoculated around 92% of the population. Infections have since escalated, and the discovery of Omicron has raised additional worries about the pressure on an already overcrowded healthcare system. Nonetheless, the WHO has constantly cautioned that as long as the coronavirus is allowed to move freely in large and protected populations, it will continue to create new types.